hello. Hey, it's Christina's birthday. It's my birthday. We're gonna talk about what we're gonna read in August. Yep, that we are. And then we're gonna celebrate Christina's birthday. Oh no! What? <gasps> oh, what did you do? Well, traditionally we've always oh, like yeah. Oh yeah. Had cake or something or to a eat. Cupcake and we like. I completely forgot. I wow. dropped the ball this year. Wow, what a bad friend you are. I feel like crap. Oh my god, I can remedy this. Okay, Christina fixed the situation with some pastries. I appreciate I did. that. I did remember your gift. That's the important part. Yeah. Yeah, so. Okay. Okay, I'm Jessica. I'm Christina. And you're watching <laughs> Game of Tomes. Where are my dragons? So, the first book I'm going to read in August is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I almost said it weird. I do like that cover, though. Uh, illustrated. Yeah. That's nice. It has nice. its own tassel. I really like that. Yeah. Didn't you say you were gonna buddy read it with people? Or? Um, I have a friend IRL, but she hasn't contacted me. Oh. Well. We were supposed to start it today. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't use Voxer. I'm not um, sure how it's gonna yeah. go. Yeah. I suggested Voxer to her. Yeah, I love doing Voxer for buddy reads. Me too, but she was a little like, oh, you gotta talk? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I was the same way. Yeah. And now I'm like, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> so for August, I'm gonna pick up and finish *Assassin's Apprentice* by Robin Hobb. This was chosen for me by a gentleman in our in real life book club because for the month of August, we decided to draw people's names and pick books for them. So this one was chosen for me, and I'm actually really excited because we've talked about reading Robin Hobb, and we haven't yet. I've heard great things, so I'm excited. Awesome. Yeah. I would totally read that with you this month. I don't think I'll have time, because I'm going on yeah. vacation, and I've got a, a big two, month ahead. Two buddy reads. And then the boys have a birthday. And yeah, that's yeah. a lot. That's mm -hmm. a lot. I'm excited, though. Good. Then, the only other oh. for sure book that we're going to read is Station Eleven. Yes. Which uh, was suggested to me for our book club by Megan from Brushing Bookends. That's right. And that is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I'm excited to read it. Yeah, I am too because I've been wanting to read it and I have it on my Kindle. Me too. So when it was suggested to you, I was like, yeah, I really want to read that too. Yeah. But we had talked about buddy reading that with Andrea over at Overstuffed Bookcase, like, quite a while back. Mm -hmm. And so we hit her up and was like, hey, do you still want to do this? And she said yes. So... I'm excited to buddy read it with her again because we haven't done that in a long time. Me too. And I really like buddy reading with her. For sure. So I recently downloaded Overdrive, the Overdrive <laughs> app. I really, really like Overdrive. Me too. Yeah. I mean, it's the first one I'll be listening to on it, um, but I'm sure it'll be great. Uh, I got The Paying Guests by Sarah Waters. It will f f f fulfill my Book Riot's Read Harder Challenge of uh, a mystery by a person of color or LGBTQ author. Mm, good. Yep. Ah. <laughs> so what's yours? I don't know. That's it. Oh, you don't know what you're re listening to? In no, books? I don't have anything specific. I do have some books on hold through Overdrive that okay. I, I'm pretty sure are going to come through. Mm. And a couple of them do fulfill a couple of my Read Harder challenges. Yeah. But we'll see what comes through. Awesome. So, I'm excited though. Okay. Presents, 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 presents. You know, Elrond saw you walking in with this and he goes, did she bring me something? And I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Did you, did he, he thought the princess kitty was for him? Yeah, I think so. For sure. That's cute. I feel like looking, but not looking. I like, I like my tissue paper. Oh. Squirrel girl! Dude! This, I saw Bibliophil yeah. talk about this, and it's the unbeatable squirrel girl who is apparently unbeatable. She was talking about how people would argue, like, do you think Superman could beat Batman? <laughs> and so Marvel was like, you know what? She's unbeatable. And so they created her just to end those arguments. That's awesome. And look at look at her, dude. Oh, oh, look at that. She's pretty cool. Look I I like that artwork. Looks like she's surfing or something. 
And look, Thor. Oh, uh, Captain the America. Hulk. Who's that lady? Um, is There's that Black supposed Widow. to be Wonder Woman? I, she doesn't look like Wonder Woman. No, at all. she doesn't. But That's like, not Wonder Woman. The color of her. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know. Iron Man. Mm. I don't know. Uh, you know, people. <laughs> but all the people. As soon as she talked about this, I was like, I'm not really into superheroes, but like, this is one that I would be. It does sound really cool. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll hold it. Thank you. I feel something round. <laughs> Ant moat. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, I know what this is. <laughs> This is actually very practical, <laughs> isn't it? I was like, what is this? I, I <laughs> We have hummingbirds, and so I keep trying to put up a hummingbird feeder, mm -hmm. but it gets nothing but ants. I mean, literally, like, I can see it, and the whole bottom is just covered in ants. So she got me an ant moat for my hummingbird I feeder. I didn't know it existed. I didn't either, dude. I was looking at your hummingbird feeder, and I thought, man... You need to get like a hovering one so that it doesn't touch the. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know what that is like. You said we should invent one. Anyway, yeah, it comes with a hook. You screw it on the top, fill it with water, and then your hummingbird feeder hangs from. Thank the you bottom. so much. Yeah. Dude, I didn't know they even made those. I know. I was telling my mom. It's my mom. My mom. Really? I was telling her about Thank your hummingbird you. feeder, uh, as one does. And she was yeah. like, um, or you could just get her an ant moat. That's genius. Yeah. Thank you, Deanna. Thank you. I've really, okay. I don't think I'm going to wait till book club to read this, though. <laughs> I'm probably going to read this this weekend. Cool, yeah. You want to borrow it? After well, that. I just want to flip through the artwork. Look how cool that is. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. You're Thank welcome. you very much. I'm also going to try my ant boat. <laughs> I'm, I'm I opened so it and I was like, ant, ant boat? <laughs> <laughs> I will send you a picture. Good. You have to sing happy birthday to me. Dang it. Boop. Since. Boop. <laughs> I love it. I do too. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christina. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna make a wish. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> mm. They're like almost stale, you know? Mm. But do you like that? Okay. <laughs> but it's okay. So thanks. Thanks for watching. Say happy birthday to Christina. Uh, when you play the game of tomes, you read or you die. Come be our friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye. Paying Guests by Sarah uh, Waters. I recently got that on Audible. <laughs> no. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to act like I've heard it. <laughs> This is the first time I'm hearing you say this. I, it's great acting. It just threw me out. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's my second one today. Lost. What felt like it all in a game. Every man I've measured out to hurt me before I could ever feel safe.